I don't think I die. It's a great. Day. I think I just keep going. Yeah. And they go, well, Bert, what do you think when all these people are dying? I was eh, not me. It's never been me yet. <laughs> I've been at funerals going that way. That's not me up there. That's true, but that's a very wait, the, limited way. Up? That's how a German shepherd would look at death. <laughs> Marshall seems pretty fucking happy. <laughs> He's pretty happy. Marshall seems pretty fucking happy. Do you think Marshall thinks about death? Or do he you think- definitely does not think about death, but delivering death to squirrels. Yeah, I got he, that energy. That sweet dog is the the squirrel murderer. That's what his favorite fucking pastime is. <laughs> you think I would love to I would love to I would love to introduce him to one of my two dogs and see if they go, Hey, who's your dad? Nah. Is it, I oh my dad does comedy too. I don't think they do that. You do you think they'd have uh, yeah, I guess you're right. They probably talking? just check each other for dominance. They sniff each other's dicks and then they they spin around and growl at each other and try so, to figure out who's the boss. So what's your alternative? Louis said this to me. He said it just goes black one day. Well, that's, he doesn't know be, that. That can't be the alternative. He doesn't know that. Not only that, there's a lot of evidence that that's not the case. Mm. There's uh, preach. I want to hear this. Well, first of all, there's bizarre chemical doorways in your brain. Your brain produces psychedelic chemicals that we we don't understand. And there's a study right now, one of the things that Graham Hancock was talking to me about recently was that there's a study that's going Graham on. Graham Hancock has a great thing on fucking Netflix. Oh, it's amazing. He's yeah. a guy that I heard his name a bunch because of you, didn't know what the fuck he did. Yeah. Like, I knew he was a thing, but I didn't know he was a thing thing. I keep fucking up the name, but it's Ancient Apocalypse, right? Yeah, Ancient it's Apocalypse. It's fucking- It's very good. It's really good. But this is the culmination of uh, Graham's life work. I mean, I found out about his original book, Fingerprints of the Gods, in the 90s, and I remember reading it, and uh, people were, like, ridiculing it, saying, oh, that's preposterous, that's pseudoscience. Everything in that book has now been proven to be true. All of it. All of his his hypothesis, and now it's correlated with uh, data that shows about these asteroid impacts. And so Randall Carlson and him teaming together. So Randall's an expert on these comet yeah. impacts and the uh, the impact that it had in the Younger Dryas impact theory. And then Graham is an expert on these ancient civilizations. And so the two of them together have put together this very, very fascinating timeline of the rebirth of human civilization, which is around 11,800 years ago, that we got fucking rocked and it reset the earth. But he was talking about this and he was talking about, um, on the last podcast we did, he was talking about these studies that are doing, they're doing out of a university in England where they're doing a slow drip DMT um, experience with these people. And because they're doing it for hours and hours, they do a slow drip where they're con- they keep them in this state, Whoa. which is normally a very transient state. Well, because you hit it with a fucking pipe. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, yeah, normally. So there's no regulating how much you get. Right. So this, because it's an IV, because it's coming in a drip, it's like constant and continuous. And these people are going to the same place and they're having repeatable experiences. So instead of having like a 15 minute DMT trip, which is a lot of people have that's like overwhelming, you can't even figure out what's going on, then it's over. Instead of that, you're going to the exact same place over and over and over again and getting more and more comfortable with it and coming back with very similar stories. Really? So, yeah, it's a repeatable environment where they're encountering entities and they're trying to map it. So these people are doing these long-term studies with long-term experiments, meaning like not a 15-minute term, but like a, not a 15-minute trip, but multiple hours at a time. And they're coming back with like a map of the territory. So the, the, this is the concept. The theory that many people have is that death opens up a chemical gateway in the mind. And that chemical gateway takes whatever the soul is, whatever consciousness is, and transports it into this new realm. It allows you, your conscious mind, to access this new realm which is available to you upon death. And so a lot of the ancient cultures that did ayahuasca and, all, and, and mushrooms, they would talk about this realm as being like a well of souls, that you encounter disembodied life forms, disembodied spirits. And this has been, uh, it's been a staple of so many religions. There's so many religions that talk about the afterlife. I mean, I get that you would want to come up with something like that just because you wanted to have some sort of 
a reason to keep going with the rational mind when you're dealing with this existential angst of a temporary existence and one day you're just going to be worm food what's the point of it all why don't i end it now yeah. it's too much life is to live is to suffer no there's something waiting for you when it's over and this is like the, that's the carrot at the end of the stick so a lot of people think well i'm too smart for that fucking carrot like no 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 life is suffering life is pointless and it goes black so, one day. It's like what Bourdain did to himself. It's like there's like this romantic notion that some people have that to end this depressing thinking is like to just to do it just to end your own life is the best way to just get through this. But they don't know. They don't know. Like you don't know that you just go black. You have no idea. They don't. And to know. say that is so foolish. Just to think of the fucking complexity of the universe itself just the the vast scope of it and now with this james webb telescope they're starting to like look at galaxies that don't even make sense like how is this galaxy so formed and it's so far away like is the is the universe older than we think it is like there's all this new speculation now because of new data to think that you know what happens to you when you die is dumb it's dumb. You don't. You're you right. cannot know. This, I thought this was going to be a panic attack, and now I'm feeling better about myself. Yeah, to be I don't think it ends. I don't think it ends either. I just don't think it ever ends. I think the real fear is not that it doesn't end. The real fear is that it never ends. The real, like, imagine if you have to live your life over and, oh, over, and fucking... over and 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 over again. Forever. Could you do it? Doesn't that a freak out? Isn't it interesting? Listen to this. Okay. Last night. Yeah. Didn't we have a great time? I had a blast. I hadn't seen you in forever. It was a really great we hug. Dude, what's up? Have a couple of cocktails. And I for me, I'm a manager of a club now. I'm like walking around. I didn't even perform. Get to hang I just out. got to hang out. Get to hang out in Mitzi's room and, and have a oh, real we talk went to for like have a nice third. dinner. Oh. Wouldn't you want to do that forever and ever yep. and ever yeah. and ever? Yeah, 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 yeah. But can you? Yep. This is the thought. Imagine like for some people that makes them freak out. This idea that you would live your life, the life that you have right now, forever. And you would just keep going back and doing it all again would, until you get it right. I would. I would. I would love